Hi, hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. We are at Target. We're gonna do a little fall shopping, a little fall haul, if you will. I'm super stoked because it gives me an excuse to buy shit. Be in the name of the channel, right? I wanna, I do have quite a bit of Halloween decorations and stuff around the house, but I don't really have anything fall. I have like holiday. I have Halloween and then I have some Thanksgiving things like little placards with turkeys on it that say gobble gobble your dinner or something like that. But it's the beginning of October. It's the perfect time to go shopping for all the fall things. Um, most everything that was like back to school, bulk, bulk savings events and stuff like that at Target are now over. Those um, generally happen in that weird transitional period in September. I was at Target five days ago and I saw that they were already starting to set some new end caps and some new dollar spot section stuff with all fall and Halloween and also some Christmas as wild as that is. But it's always good to get the stuff early because once they stock it, they generally, especially in the dollar section, they don't really restock it very often. And those, um, they call them like planograms or those sets will basically be done in about six weeks. So I do suggest always getting to it early. That way the inventory is like not depleted, not picked through. You're not left with things that are like damaged or missing pieces or anything like that. I used to be an executive team leader at Target. So I have a little bit of insider knowledge as far as um, when things are coming out and when's a good time to buy it and how much they replenish and if they replenish and holiday stuff, seasonal stuff is one of those things that they don't replenish too, too often. A few weeks before the season is over, they're done. Like they're not trying to restock shelves anymore. And especially now in like the status of um, the world, they're not trying to have a whole lot of inventory to clearance at the end. So I have realized in the last two years, trying to go shopping at the end of a season to see what kind of awesome things I could find isn't really a thing anymore, which is by we're here at the beginning of the season, ready to pay damn near full price. Hopefully the app has some coupons. I didn't even look. I did actually bring you, it's not my target, it's a higher volume target. And I think that would be like the first hack. No, the first hack is get to the stuff early. The second hack is go to a higher volume target because they have just a huge selection in comparison to lower volume targets. So the one that's over by me is um, like, say they have a tank top, they have it in three or four different colors. But this one, it's called the Lakeside Target. It's really close to this mall called Lakeside Mall, Partridge Creek. It's on a very, very busy road. The parking lot is always packed. There's always lines at checkout. That's how I know it's a higher volume target. If they're going to have that tank top, they're going to have it in eight different colors. And so that's what I'm hoping as far as um, the fall stuff goes as well, is that they're going to have more SKUs or more variety than a typical target. So let's go inside, get a Starbucks and uh, figure out what we're buying. <laughs> He got my name right. I, I didn't even tell him how to spell it. I feel like it's such a good day. I get a white chocolate mocha, stirred. It's it's amazing, I love it. But I kind of wish I would have gotten their hot apple cider because it's also awesome and I only ever get it in the fall. Um, I don't know what this is and it's out of place, but it's golden and a tea strainer. Why do I feel like I need it? This section's the dollar section. It used to be only $1 and then they changed it to one and two and three dollars. And then now I think it's one, three, five and $10. But um, for the most part, you can find some really good seasonal stuff in this department that um, transitions very quickly. Once you see it, get it, it's gone. Probably not gonna get restocked um, and it's gonna change very frequently. So every couple weeks, just about it's an entirely new reset so if you see something in this section uh, you need to get it they're starting to come out with a little bit of Christmas stuff but not a whole lot I don't actually intend on buying anything for Christmas except I have a joy sign just like this but it's red and white and my home decor is changing to this like black and gold quite a bit so I feel like I need it it's only five dollars I also saw all these little pumpkin dish and spoon for only three dollars how cute is this you could obviously put sugar in it I might even put a little salt in it or salt and pepper like mix for the table oh my god it's so cute I love it they do tend to have some organizational type pieces up here so it's always a really good spot to check for I don't love these wire baskets because things fall out of them and you can see them and I like my stuff to be a little bit more disguised but I do think they look really cute oh my god I do love this though they call it a like a Keurig k-pad holder it's like shaped like a coffee mug 
and it's only five dollars. I forgot they play music inside of Target now, but they do. Um, always look at the front end caps and back end caps for holiday things. This is where they, this is like flexible space and something called side caps, which are these little things right here. So I'm thinking that I need some Halloween nails, but I know I'm not this cool. I want this to be me, but I know it's not me. Like look at my nails. I think I'm more this length and this will still feel long. These ones are like a matte black. I don't know what that C is. Or is that supposed to be a moon? I think it's supposed to be a moon. This one has a little bit more beetle juicy vibes. I kind of like the um, glow in the dark, the little bats. I'm gonna get these ones. Add to cart. And then you have these ridiculous things where they just took three regular ass flavors and they put it inside of a pack and put a ghosty on it and called it good. Although I think that might be a better price than individually. As far as kids crafts go, the Mondo line at Target is incredibly reasonably priced and fun. We just did a painting project for Halloween, but I think that the girls would really like this sand art project and it's only $5. I guess it's actually called Mondo Llama. Yeah, that looks fun. It looks like a disaster, but you know what? They'll have fun. Oh, but then look what I found over here. It's a create your own haunted house kit. And it's freaking $10? No way. No. You know what? I get shit like this all the time for the girls. They never end up finishing coloring it. And then it's a halfway done project in my house for six months before I convince them that it's Valentine's and no longer Halloween. So we're not going to get this. How cute is this tiered tray kit though? Also only $10. But you're making these and they're heavy. It's like wood um, blocks inside of there. Holy shit, that's actually heavy. But look at you, for $10 you can make your own things for your tiered tray if you're a tiered tray type of human. I'm not, but I know so many people are. In line here, they do have some fall items, some fall tablecloths and linens, um, but not a whole lot. It looks like we have a lot of mustard for the season, which I love. I love that color. Um, except right here, this is this is a little trick. You can see when its set date was. Right here it says it's set on 9-4, um, which means that this was at one point fully stocked. And then now we have a lot of empty holes, which looks as if they're not restocking. So if there's something in this section that you would want, then you'd want to get it right away. It's just a little clue um, how to tell if something will be restocked or not and then this is really cool oh my god it's so heavy it does not actually see the price on it so i'm gonna scan it with my phone rather than the in-store scanners now the idea of using my phone is because this is going to give me the online price for items as well which online and in-store could be different and if it's cheaper online as long as it's not a clearance price if it's sale cheaper regular price cheaper online then they'll give it to you for that cheaper price. So this says it's only $20. It's not bad at all. I don't really have a purpose for it, but I wish I did. These are really cool too. It's a little appetizer, a little appetizer plate. This candy bowl is attached to a spider. That's cute. They also have these skull ice cubes. How cool. On to the home department, we have some skull. Uh, candles here that smell this one smells like a sexy man I might have to get that um, but then these things are my favorite they're awesome vase fillers they're only five dollars my girls used them to decorate the stairs this year they usually come in this off-white color orange as well as black I'm gonna get another um, box of these you get eight for five bucks and it's honestly that's a steal they do have them in larger sizes as well but these are such a nice little vase filler or to put along your stairs I'll show you when we get home and honestly I'm really impressed with the wreath sizes and quality for only $20. If you were to go into Michael's, you would definitely be paying far more than that for something um, that was a lower quality, but it feels, they all feel really good. This one's almost like an, a Halloween ornament. I love this with the skulls. This one's very sexy with like the dyed um, wheat grass. And <laughs> this one's little pom-poms, love. Um, but yeah, for the quality, for the price, the quality is awesome. The size is pretty decent, love. Okay, now we're in one of my absolute favorite departments. I love this department. And now they have it set up as a fall market. They have all these different types of pillows and decor pieces that just scream fall, but also could be left out all year long. Like they're, they're timeless pieces. The creams and rust and orange are really in this season. Look at how pretty this boogly chair is with these metal legs <sighs> all the way down I love it honestly my targets pretty hit this is a disaster 
and a little sad. Okay, heading over to the Halloween department, they have really cool treats. I love these pre-built haunted houses that take the frustration out of building these damn things. All you have to do is decorate them and they're pretty cheap. They're real cute. And their entire cake, like decorating the baking section in the seasonal department's always so killer. So they have these really cool pans and cookie cutters. They always have these different sugar decorations that you can put on top, but these are probably one of my favorite things. It's a silicone baking sheet pan shapes, but it's like rigid on the side. You could just pop the little cakes out and they were reasonably priced. And these waffle makers, that skull one, I think I'm gonna need to go back for. The dog treat one though, I would get this and use it all year. But they do have other ones that aren't Halloween related. Um, this end cap definitely got me though. I think you know that. Over to some more Halloween decorations though. I found a pom-pom tree that matched that pom-pom wreath and I'm betting that there were more of these trees to match more of the wreaths and I found these fabric pumpkins which I loved they're very lightweight they're very cheap they're like five and ten dollars total they got that yarn contrast but I couldn't get them in three different sizes like those two larger ones are the same size and it just felt like a weird little combo um, and then I found a regular pumpkin just kind of hanging out in the store. The only pumpkin in the entire store. The outdoor decorations were also really good. This five foot LED spider was only $35 and this large blow up um, spooky skeleton was only 80. These things though are really cool. Indoor, outdoor, collapsible decor. If you live in a small apartment or you have a small home or not a lot of storage, then that would be a great option as well as these like flat LED ghost and kind of things. Um, those are really good because they're very easy to store. My store had a really good day of the dead. Um, they had an end cap that was pretty much wiped, but this little floating thing over in the Halloween department was really nice and uh, it's beautiful. That Man, all of that stuff is so pretty. The cereal though, it got me. It was a core memory unlocked. Count Chocula was my favorite. But did we know that they came out with a new flavor, Fruit Brute? Or have I just missed this? It's cherry flavored with monster marshmallows. It kind of looks gross though. And they did not forget about the dogs at least, the dogs and the cats. So they had all these different treats. I'll link a bunch of these down below as well, but you could definitely find them in store. A pumpkin spice flavored greenie is hilarious. This creepy catnip is hilarious. But then um, they had the costumes, of course. I want somebody to send me a picture of their cat wearing a banana costume because I just, this is probably the coolest thing ever. And they had uh, tasty human treats. I, I only saw these once I was pausing my footage and going through it. These cat scratchers, I wish, I wish I had a cat just to get these cat scratchers, honestly, they're so cute. And Halloween books, we cannot forget about this. You need to get some Halloween books. They're so much fun and at least the kids have something interesting to read each year. These are my favorite, How to Catch a Monster. Uh, the kids absolutely love this. Read it every year and it's only like six bucks. And the crayons trick or treat. There's one where the crayon is nude and it makes my kids laugh every time. And I almost considered buying myself a book too. But everybody talks about Colleen Hoover. I think I want to get that. Um, get a Colleen Hoover book. I think it's supposed to be spooky. And then I saw this fuck anxiety book and I thought this could be really cool. And when I was scrolling through it, it's a self-help book, which is just not really, I can't do that kind of stuff. I need it to be interesting. And then the last thing I'll show you at Target before we head home are these advent calendars. They just came out. They're already on sale. They sell out super duper fast. The kids adore them because they get a prize every single day until Christmas. And these ones are awesome. We are back. Welcome to my lovely abode. We have um, my haul to go through. It wasn't as amazing as I was hoping. The dollar spot is usually like bombastic. It was meh and very picked through. Also with Target, they're supposed to zone at night. So they bright as the store is closing, you know, you see all the employees out on the sales floor folding, straightening things up, pulling things forward. And then before the store opens, just about like an hour or two before, cause they don't do overnights at most of the Target stores, they would come in and they would restock the shelves. And so I figured if we got there just after they opened, so they opened at eight o'clock, I believe. And I got there at about 8.45, that store was hit, it was 
a disaster and they hadn't really stocked it very well so I kind of felt like it was a little bit of a miss but regardless I still managed to spend about $200 so let me show you the amazing things that I found this spider and this spider are actually part of last year's um, collection it's one of the decor pieces that we are constantly moving around our house so they did have the uh, fake spider web in the dollar spot section for only a dollar they also had it back in the Halloween section but this is part of their Halloween hide and eek collection and they're so cheap and they have these flexible arms and you can get them in multiple sizes like I think this one is three dollars maybe this one was seven to ten dollars like definitely no more than that the quality of them definitely is left to be desired it's basically like a styrofoam ball wrapped in some fabric and some um glued arms but i couldn't do this for under ten dollars so i'm still a fan um and the kids love it we move these things around like this is the mommy spider and then we have the baby spider always climbing all over mommy and they're the kids move them all around constantly so that's a win this next thing is just simply a reminder for you to go get your candy so you can get the good stuff because the good stuff gets sold out really early plus everything is basically on sale at the beginning of october they put all their large bags on sale i believe the 16 dollars down to 15 is it a good deal no not really but it's something and then they have those smaller bags like two for seven or two for ten i ended up opting for two very large bags we end up going to somebody else's house for halloween it's a way better it's a it's one of those rich subs they hand out candy bars they hand out like the good stuff so we always bring at least 300 pieces of candy and i managed to get that for 30 bucks today over that so we have a sour patch swedish fish sour patch tropical and sour patch kids tricksters i feel like every kid in the world loves these and if they don't then they would love this that has twix Skittles and Starburst. The Snickers I'm gonna probably end up giving to my nephew so that I don't have any um, peanut things in here, but I really wanted these other three and this is 170, so it was a good deal. Go get your candy, go get your candy now. Okay, next up I did actually get the sand art kit. I love these Mandolama kits. The kids make them and then I can throw the whole thing in the garbage, then they have their little souvenirs that we can name and date them and put them in storage and bust them back out the next year and then they always have that memory. It's like, oh my God, remember when I made this? It's so cute. Plus there's three of them so there's one for Alexa one for Sienna and one for me I'm kind of excited to do a craft with them I love sitting at the table and doing the crafts especially if they include a whole lot of sand and I can somewhat control the chaos a little bit maybe a little bit another thing related to kids not necessarily home but I was excited for it. all of their winter stuff is out and it's all really reasonably priced Kohl's is so expensive um, I did children's place last year and I bought a whole bunch of leggings and shirts and the first time I put it in the wash I swear every single pair of leggings and shirt shrunk at least an inch to even two inches the cat and jack collections are amazing they're top-notch quality they wash really well I'm not only saying this because I used to work at Target I hate my experience at working at Target. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible experience, but I won't project that onto anybody else. I still love the store. I still absolutely love their clothing. So they did come out with their long sleeves for the kids. And look, it's $8. It doesn't even need to be on sale. It's already a good price because I bought one something I can't not buy a shirt for the other one you know because it's got to be even Stevens with kids and really I probably should have bought the exact same shirt but they don't have the same style I ended up just getting this one it's um it's cute I don't know it's a cute little screen tee they don't like plain shirts and they don't like shirts with with uh too many seams and I don't you know I think it's a kid thing okay this isn't really part of the haul I just needed flossers these ones look good because they had fluoride coated string is that better I don't know maybe I am super excited for this snack the fall snacks are always killing it at Target you can always go in there and count on finding all of the store brands like a favorite day having all the different snacks um, as well as like all of the vendor snacks like Nabisco products um, Oreo and such like that like you'll definitely get those there but a favorite day or the, um, favorite day has a whole line of seasonal snacks they do it like basically every holiday every season and they're amazing they're like expertly curated I don't know I made that up but this one's the caramel macchiato it has chocolate pretzel balls coffee glazed pecans coffee dusted white chocolate coffee beans salted caramel praline almonds peanuts and caramel cashews like look at how amazing this mix is it's so good it tastes so good mm. I'm craving it now okay next up 
Another thing for the Hide and Eek collection, this turned more into like a Halloween haul than a fall haul. I was kind of counting on it to be a little bit more fall related, but it's not. This looked better than the kit that I kind of currently have, which is a little bit bent up and old. And last year we broke one of the pieces and it was like a very pointy stabby tool one. Um, so I think that this is going to be better and maybe even safer for the kids. And it was only $5. So it has these two knives in it, but neither of them are super pointy. It also has a more ergonomically correct gripping handle on it. So when your hands are getting slimy, they don't slide down the knife, which is one of my absolute biggest fears when I'm watching my small child attempt to stab a thick gourd and do it in a pattern while paying attention to their safety. It just, it's not a thing. So this I feel like is a little bit safer. And then it did also come with this tool, which I thought was really cool, that kind of digs out those like surface. I've always kind of wanted to do that where you um, shave out. Like I think they shaved out his eyebrows right there. I kind of really want to do an entire pumpkin with just that. So I'm excited about that tool. And then this is your like paddle scoop scrapey tool. Did you know that you're supposed to actually not do this? Don't do this. If you cut the bottom of the pumpkin off, off, then you could just lift up the whole pumpkin by the stem to put the tea light in there without having to reach down in. But also every time they rot, they rot from the top and they cave in. So if it's rotting from the bottom, that's better, I guess. The next Halloween thing that I bought was this. This is one of those, um, plas it's called a plasma skull. You hit the button and it lights up. And then when you like touch it, see, it does this thing. What kid does not want one of these? I think it's one of the coolest things that you could get. And um, it's one of those things that just begs for them to put their grimy little fingers on. I know. And I'm going to have to wash it a bunch of times, I'm sure. But it's so cool. And it's like, it feels like science. Like a mad scientist or like a Frankenstein. My mad scientist. Yes. But I do have one thing in the end that I'm so excited to show you. Ah, yeah. I already know where I want to put it too. I think I know where I want to put it. Next thing that I got were the white pumpkins. And um, I think that these are going to look really good in my vase that I have on my bench. I've done it in years past, but uh, the kids stole them. I needed to get some more. And I think that this white would actually look a lot better than putting the oranges in there as well. Um, you know, you'll see. You see, I think the white is better, right? I did also get the joy sign, which is a Christmas item. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed in myself for having acquired a Christmas good before Halloween that's not Christmas. Christmas lights. Christmas lights you should 110% get as soon as you see them going out, um, especially because it's maybe still nice enough weather for you to put them up. Also, they get depleted so fast and usually if you need something you need like five or ten of that same item and once it starts to get depleted and you have to mix and match you just don't do it you give up you get exhausted overwhelmed frustrated and all of that jazz so definitely christmas lights but this sign was part of the dollar spot and since it revolves so quickly i just didn't want to miss the opportunity to get this next time so i feel like this fits our style a little bit more and I got a Christmas item. I'm, I'm a little upset with myself about it, but we got a Christmas item. I did end up getting these nails. I love them. I hope that they work out really well. Glue on seven day wear, but I mean, if you put glue on your nail and glue on the nails and then attach it, then you can get like two weeks out of them before they start to look a little bit like grown out. Oh my God, I almost forgot about this too. I am so excited for this. I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper I might put my sugar in it for my iced coffee um, and tea. I don't know. Maybe I should have bought more than one of these. I think it's going to be the cutest little thing. It was $3 and honestly, it is so classy. Look at this adorable little spoon. It's all ceramic. That's so cute. Shut the front door. I love that. For $3, you can't beat that. And then I got one more thing. This thing I'm, I'm probably the most excited about. In the entire collection, it's not Halloween. It's slightly fall-ish. It was on clearance at my Target. It's also on clearance on the website for $18, originally $60. So if you want it, you're going to have to get it right now. I happen to find 
one in my store that wouldn't scan in store. So I would say definitely on target.com. I'll be sure to have everything linked down below, but I could, I saw this on a back end cap and back end caps are where you're going to find the clearance deals. So they'll mark things down in line, like in the aisles. But then by the end of that week, they're usually doing a reset of the entire aisle. So then when the reset team comes through, they take all of the clearance and they put it on a back end cap. So that's where I found this and it wasn't marked clearance and it wouldn't scan in store. But when I looked it up on the app on my phone, that's when I found it for $18. It's like set, it's 70% off and it's gorgeous. It is from Project 62. Well, how strange is this that you could see in the mirror? I didn't even think about that. Okay, so it's a Project 62 wall mirror with this brass finish, but it's the pill shaped. Do you know how amazing this is right now? Do you know like how popular this pill shape design is? And it's a large mirror. It's 16 inches by 28 inches brass finish, heavy. It's a heavy mirror. It's heavy duty. I love it. Okay. So do you want to see where I'm going to put it? It's just going to go in this room. Okay. So this is the dog crate. It's going to get, um, re done entirely. We don't know what we were thinking when we were like, yeah, let's stain it green on top because we like the color green. It didn't translate very well. And then this birch stain on the bottom didn't translate very well either. It just came out like peachy. I don't know. It didn't work. We were trying our hardest to do a DIY. It just it, the color scheme didn't work. We're going to paint it probably honestly white and black. Um, I think that's where we're going to end up going with it. But if we do white and black, we have walnut gold and brass is like our color and marble as like accent pieces. That's, that's kind of like the direction we're trying to go in this room with the color being the wall. Let me move this. Okay, so this is where I'm thinking I'm gonna put it. Can you tell? Is it is it good? Let's hold on. Let's do another angle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it should go like off center too. Oh, I'm so excited for it. This is going to be so cute. I love this. Okay, so that was actually the entire haul. That was the fall haul. If you won't, because it didn't truly turn out to be fall at all. I wish the store wasn't as beat up as it was, and um, maybe I misspoke earlier and should have gone like two weeks ago because that one set was set on September 4th, so I probably could have gone mid-September, but my Target didn't have the stock out yet. This one looked like they got it out a little bit early and then totally wiped through it. After the holidays, right the day after Halloween, it'll start to get marked down. Typically, they'll mark down the food type items, only about 15% to 30% and then they'll start to mark down the um, non-consumable type items, the decor and the costumes and all that stuff. Starting at like 30 to 50% within the week, they'll end up dropping it down to like 50 and 70% respectively and then they'll try to get rid of it as soon as possible and then they're going to set all of the Christmas stuff. They'll already have the Christmas trees set on the um, main part of the pad on November 1st. So they do that overnight, Halloween into the very first of November. That's when you'll see all the Christmas stuff come out, which will be fun. We don't have like a really big house to decorate. So it feels weird even trying to um, acquire anything new or different, but maybe this year I'll actually get some things for outside. Cause I feel like that is where we are truly lacking. I am excited for Christmas to come, but Halloween first. That's all I want first. Okay, so that's it. Love you all so damn much. Please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. Um, this was a little bit different of a video. I wanted to try it. I'm not sure if I loved it. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible and to all of you for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it and I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my god, I forgot to show you this real quick. Okay, I found a candle holder to put that can abolish um, odor absorbing gel in. Remember from the one, the video that I said how to make your home smell good or not smell at all? This is one of them and it wasn't, I love the smell of it, it's an experiment. Um, it wasn't in a container, but I found one. I went and dug this out of the trash, threw it in there and now I got this. It looks a little nicer. Okay, that's it, love you, bye.